Hello my beautiful Virgos and welcome to your late May heading into June 2020 love reading. Let's dive straight into it. I have done a pre-shuffle and this is what I, I can see already. Um, Spirit is asking you to be generous, be thoughtful this month, okay? I'm, I'm seeing that your person of interest has got a lot on their plate at the moment. Okay, they're coming out as the Ten of Wands. So lots of responsibilities. They're feeling very burdened at the moment. And um, I can see they're focused. They're really working hard, okay? Seven of Pentacles, they're, um, you know, this is hard yakka. This is waiting for the results um, of your, your labor, the fruits of your labor to um, be realized. They're stressed, okay? Nine of Swords, there's probably trouble sleeping. They're all up in their head. They're really worried about something, okay? Um, so the main thing for you is not to be, not to act in a self-interested way this month. You've got the, the Nine of Cups. So this person is quite self-indulgent, self-gratifying, okay? Um, can be a little bit selfish, the Nine of Cups. Um, and the Four of Pentacles is here. So you aren't, aren't giving what you could be giving this month. And I saw it in the pre-shuffle in other, other cards as well. Let me show you. So... The main one was the Ace of Pentacles that came out. So it came out in the reverse. So that's telling me that you maybe aren't keeping your promises um, or you're not making good on things that you'll, you say that you're going to do. That's what came out in the pre-shuffle, okay? So don't drop the ball. This person really needs you to pull your weight this month, okay? Um because you're in a position to do so. You are the nine of pentacles. You're surrounded by abundance. Um, and this person is really toiling. Okay. And for some reason, they're just not quite happy with your level of effort. Okay. The three of pentacles is a card about effort, work, working together towards shared goals, compromising, um, it's about teamwork and the teamwork card in another deck came up. Here it is here. So you're supposed to be building something together. You're at the moment though, you know, thinking about yourself. So this card is saying that you need to be determined to be a good teammate in all of your relationships. And if you disagree, resist the urge to place blame um, and look for a way to solve the problem together. When you're a team, everything's a game. And when you're on the same side, nobody can lose. Okay. You also got thoughtfulness. All right. So this card is saying it's time to put your money where your mouth is. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And have fun showing your love. Think of all the little things that you could do to show a person that you love them. And then stop thinking of those things and actually do them. It's time to hide a note in someone's pocket. Make them a snack, order them a book, anything thoughtful that can be an act of love, even taking out the rubbish, okay? Um, so just be considerate of the other person. You also got that in other decks too. Let me show you. You got um, take the lead. So Spirit is saying it's time for you to initiate things, Um for the benefit of, of the connection and for the benefit of the other person, you might need to reevaluate your priorities. So start investing more in the relationship and stop spreading yourself so thin. You know, you do need to, to invest and give this more time and attention. Okay. Now the ace of pentacles in the reverse was coming through really strong and it's kind of just reinforcing the need for you to keep your commitments Make sure the other person can rely on you, okay? Um, say what you mean and mean what you say. There really needs to be more balance in the relationship because the other person feels like you're not doing your bit, okay? So justice is here, so it's calling you to restore balance in the connection. 
And as I said before, Four of Pentacles, this can be someone who's a little bit stingy. They're holding on too tightly to their coins. And I'm not saying that you're being stingy in a financial way, but you need to be a little bit more generous with your time and attention and affection on all of those things, okay? Now, the other oracle that was reinforcing that message was the lion spirit be generous of spirit okay so what can you give how can you add value to the relationship all right let's see what your other oracles have to say angels and spirit what is the message for virgos in love please in late may heading into june Okay, so you've got surrender your ego. This is about, you know, putting others first and putting the relationship first before your own interests, okay? So um, Spirit is saying cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. Okay, it's about humility. There's a sense of needing to be humble and eat humble pie this month, okay? Um there's, there's some kind of addiction that might be getting in the way of a healthy relationship. What sabotaging behavior is keeping you from upholding your end of the bargain in the relationship? It doesn't have to be an addiction to a substance. It could be overspending. It could be, I don't know, overworking. And Virgo, you can be guilty of that. You like stability, you like security, um, you are known to be workaholics, but whatever this addiction is, it needs to be healed so that your attention, um, you can put more time and attention into your relationship. Okay. We've got surrender procrastination. So. You do need to be more consistent, more reliable. Don't put things off, okay? Take action towards this connection, right? Um, try not to compare your efforts with the other person. I can see they're really tied up and they have a very um, full, they've got their hands full this month. So rather than saying, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, you know, what are you doing? Don't compare your efforts with them right now. They've got a lot on their plate, so keep your eyes trained on yourself and your contributions to the relationship, not on what you can get out of it. Focus on your strengths, your own attractiveness and power. Um, okay. That's what I'm seeing in that deck. Let's have a look at the wisdom of the oracle. What is the message for Virgo, please, in late May heading into June 2020? What does Virgo need to know in terms of love and relationships? leg up it means support supporting each other 34 
Okay, relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you're there for them. This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs and ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust you'll be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind though. Ask and it is given. So it could be you know, the roles are reversed. Uh, this I'm reading energy, so it could be you that needs more support from the other person, but I'm actually feeling it's the other person that needs you to be more thoughtful and generous and considerate this month. Okay, let's see what the simple love advice has to say. Angels and spirit, please show me what is the simple love advice for Virgo. In late May, heading into June 2020. Okay. So, okay, we've got a card that is about the need to appreciate others for who they really are. So it's about appreciation, Appreci appreciating um, and supporting each other. And that's a healthy team. And look what you have here, unbalanced. So definitely restore balance here. Everyone's got to contribute um, and make sure there's equal give and take, all right? Um, Interesting. Another card about the need to love and appreciate the people around you. I hope that resonated for you, Virgo. Let me know in the comments. Have a great month and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.